Per concrusts Latvian pronunciation, p -ash -r -k -u -n crusts. Thunder Cross was a Latvian ultranationalist, anti German and anti Semitic political party founded in 1933 by Gustav Selmans, borrowing elements of German nationalism but being unsympathetic to German National Socialism at the time and Italian fascism. It was outlawed in 1934, its leadership arrested, and Selmans eventually exiled in 1937. Still imprisoned members were persecuted under the first Soviet occupation, some collaborated with subsequently invading Nazi Germany forces in perpetrating the Holocaust. Per conquests continued to exist in some form until 1944, when Selmans, who had initially returned to work in the occupying German administration, was imprisoned. Following the restoration of Latvia's independence in 1991, a new radical nationalist movement, also called Per Conquests, was formed in 1995. The organization espouses many of the same values as its predecessor. Members have participated in efforts to bomb the monument to the liberators of Soviet Latvia and Riga from the German fascist invaders several times, leading to the arrest, trial and imprisonment of many of its members. Principles and ideology Perconcrusts has been variously categorized by scholars as representing the radical right, activist nationalism, Latvian, Octavi nationalisms, or fascism, with the latter term being the most commonly encountered in the scholarly literature. Roger Griffin, a prominent fascist studies scholar, describes perconcrusts as having been a small but genuine fascist opposition, which pursued a revolutionary solution to the economic crisis and which would turn Latvia into an authoritarian state based on a new elite with a new corporatist economy." With its politics defined by "...integralist nationalism." Building on Griffin's definition of generic fascism, a categorization of perconcrusts as "...anti-German national socialism." has also been proposed in an article from 2015 aside from the party's newspaper per conquests 1933-34 the main source of information on the political platform of per conquests can be found in the 1933 brochure per conquests what is it what does it want how does it work latvian kas ir ko grib ka darboyas per conquests this publication not only outlined the movement's political program but also included the complete party statutes with its slogan, Latvia for Latvians work and bread for Latvians. Latvian, Latviju Latviesium Latviesium Darbu un Maisi, per conquests wish to place all political and economic control of their country exclusively in the hands of ethnic Latvians. As a result, the party rejected the existing legislation that gave national minorities cultural autonomy. Per conquests aimed its propaganda against minorities who supposedly had taken over the Latvian economy i.e. Baltic Germans, Jews and the contemporary parliamentary politicians, whom it accused of corruption. Per conquests rejected Christianity as a foreign influence and suggested instead adopting Devchariba, which was an attempt to revive an assumed pre-Christian Latvian religion. Despite its rural ideals, per conquests gained most of its support in the urban areas like Riga, more specifically among students at the University of Latvia. Topic: <laughs> Party symbols. Thunder Cross is one of the names for the swastika in Latvian, which was used as a symbol of the organization. The group used a variation of the Roman or Hitler salute, and greeted with the Latvian phrase, Sinai Svikes, ready for battle, or hail the struggle. According to Aldous Kreslins, although the party used both the swastika and the Roman salute, it was neither affiliated with, nor a copycat of German Nazism, as was the case with the United Latvian National Socialist Party Latvian, Apvienota Latvijas Nationalsocialistu Partia headed by Janis Stelmakers, the uniform of per conquests was a grey shirt and black beret. <laughs> <laughs> development before World War II The fascist group Jugendskrusts Fire Cross, one of Latvian ethnic symbols as well as sign which is a mirrored image of swastika, was founded in Latvia in 1932 by Gustav Selmans, but was soon outlawed by the government of Latvia. The former Jugendskrusts organization re-emerged immediately under the new name of Perkonkrusts. 
By 1934, Perkongkrusts is estimated to have had between 5,000 and 6,000 members, although the organization maintained that it had more. Carlos Ulmanis, leader of the conservative Nationalist Peasants' Union Party and then Prime Minister of Latvia, proposed constitutional reforms in October 1933, which socialists feared would target the left more than the right. In November of the same year, seven communist deputies were arrested, while Perkongkrust's officials were left alone. Because of political unrest, stemming partially from the growing power of the right, Almanis staged a bloodless coup d'état in May 1934, banning not only the Communist Party and Perkongkrusts, but all parties and the Saima parliament. Following the coup, Perkongkrusts' leader Selmans was imprisoned for three years and then banished from Latvia. Although Perkongkrusts did not exist officially after 1934, many former leaders and members acted with a degree of unity in subsequent years. In the late 1930s, Selman set up a foreign liaison office of Perkongkrusts in Helsinki, Finland. During his peripatetic exile, Selman's had established personal contacts with the representatives of other fascist groupings in Europe, most notably Romania's Cornelia Codrianu. <laughs> During World War II and the Holocaust Not long after the Molotov–Ribbentrop Pact in 1939, Latvia was occupied by the Soviet Union. Whereas the Soviet regime released the communists imprisoned by Ulmanis with great ceremony, political prisoners from Perkongkrusts were not freed. Instead, more members of Perkongkrusts were arrested by the Soviet authorities during 1940–1941, some of them being deported to Siberia. When the Germans invaded Latvia in late June 1941, Selmans, who had moved to Germany following Latvia's occupation in 1940, returned to Latvia as a Sonderfuhrer in the service of the German Wehrmacht. In early July, Perkongkrusts was briefly permitted to operate openly again. Former Perkongkrusts members were actively sought by the German authorities as volunteers for the Arish Commando. According to research by historian Rudite Vin, however, there were only a handful of members of Perkongkrusts who played a role in the Holocaust in Latvia, their activities focused more on propaganda. During the early phases of the Holocaust in Latvia Martins Vagulins, whom historian Valdis Lumens describes as a member of Perkongkrusts, led a killing squad attached to the Sitcherheitsdienst in the town of Jelgava. Historian Andrius Ezergalis has countered that Vagulins was not in fact a member of Perkongkrusts, between whom and the Nazis existed a wall of suspicion. Ezergalis has also argued, I do not think that among the killers of the Jews there were more than ten Perkongkrusts members, if that. They played a more significant role as purveyors of antisemitism in Nazi press. The German authorities decisively banned the organization for good in August 1941. Some former Perkongkrusts members collaborated with the Germans, while others maintained an anti German sentiment and joined those groups subversively opposed to German occupation. Selmans continued his outward collaboration with the Germans in the hopes that sizable Latvian military formations would be created. From February 1942, he headed the Committee for Organizing Latvian Volunteers Latvian, Latviazu Brivpratigo Organizatius Komitea, the main function of which was the recruitment of Latvian men for the Latvian Auxiliary Police Battalions, known in German as Schutzmannschaften or simply Schuma. Aside from frontline combat duties, these battalions also participated in so-called anti-partisan operations in Latvia and Belarus that included the massacres of rural Jews and other civilians. Perkongkrusts members working within the SD apparatus in occupied Latvia would feed Selman's information, some of which he would include in his underground, anti-German publication Breva Latvija. This eventually led to Selman's and his associates being arrested, with Selman's ending up imprisoned in Flossenburg concentration camp. In Latvia today A radical group claiming Perkongkrusts's name emerged in the 1990s as an organization whose stated goal was the overthrow of the current unsatisfactory government and the establishment of a Latvian Latvia. In 1995, three former members of the group, Reba's Defenders, Valdis Raups, Ivers Vixnens and then 68-year-old Vilis Linens, joined with martial artist Juris Rex to reconstitute Perkongkrusts. Reba's Defenders was an unregistered splinter group from the Defenders, or Izargs, founded by Janis Reba. 
Members of the group were assigned code names, swore loyalty oaths, and senior members wore masks to initiate recruits. The organization was explicitly militaristic and considered itself a Latvian fighting unit, pursuing a holy liberation struggle. The ideology of the group was primarily characterized by ethnic and racial nationalism, anti-Semitism, anti-communism, and opposed to liberalism and free markets. Among the goals of Perkonkrusts were a Latvia where the Latvian would be the lord and master in his fatherland, not in those of Latvian-speaking cosmopolitan bastards, and racial purity of the Latvian people. Perkonkrusts has opposed Jew neo-communists. Half Jews and their allies. Enemy number one of the Latvian people. Members of the reconstituted Perkonkrusts tried three times to bomb the monument to the liberators of Riga from the German and fascist invaders. In one of the most serious incidents, two of the members were killed in the explosion. In 2000, most of the leaders of the current Perkonkrusts were arrested and tried. The group ceased organized activities for a number of years thereafter. In recent years, Igor Siskins has tried to reactivate Perkonkrusts again. He has claimed to represent Perkonkrusts at various events, such as the marking of Latvian Legion Day and Soviet Victory Day the 9th of May in Riga. On 9 May 2007, Siskins was arrested for wearing forbidden symbols in public. Siskins was similarly detained for displaying forbidden symbols on the 9th of May 2009 in its relations with Latvia. The Foreign Ministry of the Russian Federation at times brings up the history of the Perkonkrusts movement as evidence of present-day Latvia's fascist heritage. Topic: See also Igor Siskins <laughs>